five hours in a bar before getting behind the wheel and running over a teen. We're learning new details tonight in a hit and run in West Jordan that left a 13-year-old dead. Yeah, those details coming from the charging documents filed in this case. News special Sandra Adams live for us with an update here. Andrew? Well, the driver, Mason Ohms, is now facing multiple felonies, including auto homicide. According to charging documents, he consumed 140 ounces of beer before getting behind the wheel and hitting the boy. This is an event that kind of shakes the ground of the foundation of our community. In the middle of rush hour, it brought traffic to a standstill. Young boy crossing the street on his bicycle and the driver hitting him. And the horror only grew as witnesses watched the driver pull away. One of the other recruiters at my office, he witnessed the event as well and saw the truck turn around with the bicycle still in underneath the vehicle. And the driver came into our parking lot and removed the bicycle from under his vehicle. The crash left 13-year-old Eli Mitchell dead and the community mourning. My heart aches for this family and I just want them to know that I'm really sorry for their loss. Now, a week later, the clearest picture to date of what happened comes from charging documents. They say the driver, 50-year-old Mason Ohms, was seen leaving a bar just two minutes before the crash. The documents state Ohms had downed seven 20-ounce beers and still had a blood alcohol level twice the legal limit when he was finally tested six hours later. Investigators said Ohms claimed he felt a bump and did not know what it was. Hit and run with a fatality is a felony in the state, and he, that person is looking at a very serious crime just for that. Court documents say Ohms never hit the brakes after impact and had parked his truck down the street from his house when officers came calling that night. You have to stay and talk to those people. It, it's against the law, uh, and it's just, it's just not right. Court records show that Ohms had four previous convictions uh, for DUI, the latest coming in 2003. He was also convicted in 2010 uh, of driving while under alcohol restrictions. Again, he is charged with multiple felonies in this case, including auto homicide, leaving the scene of a crash and obstructing justice. Thank you. It's just hard to understand, Andrew. Thank you. New developments 